Today we are going to learn how to use Census to create customer match lists in Google Ads. There are many use cases for customer match lists in Google Ads, and to name a few, you can upsell and cross-sell users based on past purchases. You can promote repeat purchases from previous customers. You can target cart abandoners via ads, and you can re-engage customers who have gone dormant. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to our Census account and go to Connections, and then we're going to add our Data Warehouse to the Data Sources section. So we do that by clicking Add Data Source, and for this example, we are going to use a Redshift Data Warehouse, but you can use whichever Data Warehouse you'd like. After you've added your Data Warehouse credentials, you're going to click Save Connection, and then you will see your new Data Warehouse connection within the Data Sources. I recommend testing so you know that it works. Once you have a successful text connection, you are going to go down to service connections and we are going to add Google Ads as a service. So you click add services, click Google Ads, and then you're taken to a new page. If you already have access to Google Ads, you can click on the account associated, click continue, and then since it will then ask you which account you want to use if you have multiple. So I'm going to select this one, click confirm. And now I have my new Google Ads account connected. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to write a query that allows us to grab some customers from our data warehouse. So this is the query that I'm using. I'm selecting every column of data from the users table, and I'm also appending a new column called Google Ads Test. And you'll notice that um, this is converted into a JSON array because Google Ads requires that you send them a JSON array instead of a string. And you need to make sure that whichever audience you're going to send data to, that it matches the audience name exactly. It matches the spacing, it matches the casing. If you don't do this, then you will run into an error. So you'll notice that this matches my JSON array perfectly. So I'm going to preview this to make sure that it works. And there we have it. We have all of our customer data as well as our Google Ads audience name. And now we click Save Model. And we need to add a name. Do not forget to add a name. Save Model. OK, now we are going to the fun part. And we are going to sync our data warehouse with Google Ads. So you click Add Sync. The connection that I'm using is Redshift. And then I'm going to use the model that I just created, Census plus Google Ads test. And then I want to connect that to the Google Ads that I just created. And the object I'm sending data to is customer, since we're doing a customer match list. So how do you want to update this destination? You can use update or create, which will add or update users in the audience, but will never remove users. Or you can use mirror, which will also remove users that have disappeared from the source. So we're just going to do update or create. And then the next step is we're deciding how we are going to match these records. This is like a, a join statement in SQL. So I'm matching them by email and then in the customer list, this is required by Google Ads, I'm going to look up customers by name from the query that I just created, Census Google Ads Test. That's the, the Google Ads audience name. Once that's all set up, I'm going to run the test. And hooray, the test worked. So I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to run the actual sync now. Click Create Sync. 
my sync took about 30 seconds, but this is what census is telling me. It said, okay, the sync happened a few seconds ago. There were 804 records updated and four of those records were invalid or rejected. So now if I want proof that this sync worked, I go back into Google ads. I'm going to refresh this page and then I'm going to hover over the audience that I sent data to. And then I'm going to click right here. And it said that it was last updated at 12.02 PM. And right now it is 12.03 PM. So I know that the update worked. I hope this tutorial helped you create customer match lists with Google ads. If you have any questions or if you got stuck, please reach out to hello at getcensus.com and we will be right there. Thank you.